back? Are you good, Brad? Are you you ready to go? Okay. I'm ready to go. All right, go for it. Okay, thank you very much. Hello, Marty, and hello, Chris. Nice to see Back Scratcher is in use. There you go. Fantastic. Okay, guys, uh, let's get you up to date then. And seven days in on Passive, as always on 360, we do a bit of a recap of what's happened over the last seven days. And luckily, as uh, 360 is on Thursday, again this week, uh, it was on Thursday last week. So let's go all the way back to the 29th of February, which was last Thursday. And we were very lucky. Uh, to have um, not only uh, Ash Mafara on our 360, he brought us up to date. If you remember, he came on towards the end, actually, over there. Um, we were also given another 10-day extension on our O Connect. And it was really interesting that when Ash came on, actually, um, he was given this uh, bit of information about what had been going on. But more importantly, he said he didn't want to divulge too much information on 360. Why? Because the next day he was going to be doing a scheduled webinar, um, which was a collaboration between uh, Let's O with Ron Holbert and Minu Miller as well. And he set that time out. Uh, the notes from our 360 last Thursday were posted out super quick into your O Founders updates section. And you could go ahead and read them from there. So Friday, the 1st of March came around then. Uh, lots happened actually Friday. Uh, we had a new uh, OES uh, update in uh, for Android. That's on your mobile devices. Uh, if you want to know what the latest one is uh, for Android, it should be 1.0.4.5 now, guys. And if you're on iOS, which is Apple, any device, uh, it is 1.0.9. And you can check if you're up to date simply by opening up your mobile OES app. OK, there's three dashes to the top left hand corner of your app. If you click on that, you'll see on passive. And to the right of that, it'll have a V, which is version. And it will have that number there on Android 1.0.4.5 or if you're on iOS Apple, it will say 1.0.9. That was updated on Friday 1st of March. Also, guys, uh, Friday the 1st, we had a new pop-up in your uh, ecosystem. And that was to give the link for Let's O for Ron Alberts and Minus and uh, the time for that. So uh, the night time, it was on quite late, really, for, the UK, for you guys over in the States, if you remember. And for me, it was 2 a.m. Uh, in the Saturday morning. But it was an absolute fantastic uh, um, webinar, in my opinion. It gave us a lot of insight into the journey that Ashmi Farah has taken as far as on passive is concerned. A few more pieces of the puddle, puzzle were added. And a lot of the things he was saying sort of connected in with trials, tribulations, bumps in the road, etc., to give us a lot more of a, an idea, really, of what he's been going through. Also on Friday, we had a 14-day extension to O-Tracker uh, as well on Friday the 1st. So Saturday, the notes were posted pretty quickly into your uh, O-Founders update section. Uh, very long, uh, very concise, well done on our quartet uh, for getting those out uh, extremely uh, quickly, which is uh, Janet, Daryl, Dan and Peter. They all do an extremely good job, guys, for you to get these notes out. Because if you miss the live, the written notes are there a lot quicker than the recordings if they come out. And obviously, uh, Marty, Chris and myself do our own style of recap as well. Um, also on Saturday... Uh, we had a repost by Mohammed uh, Nassal on X, and that was a repost of one of the on passive posts. And this was actually the um, what the video that um, Ashma Farah showed on Let's O. If you remember, this is the video that they used uh, 
to explain one year <laughs> in on passive and that was put out there and it was also reshared by Mohammed Nassal as well. Also, guys, then we came to um, Sunday. Sunday was, from our point of view, a quiet day. Not much went on on Sunday. But Monday, sure as eggs is eggs, there it was once again, brand new website. And we've gone back to the dark blues, light blues. Uh, if you look at Chris's hat he's got on right now, uh, that is the colour theme that we had or we have at the moment on our brand new website. Go and uh, check it out. Have a look. Some really good animations in the background. That's at onpassive.com. That came out on the 4th of March. And we also had a new video from Omedia, and this was January in Review. If you haven't seen that yet, go and check it out. It's a concise review of what's been going on uh, specifically for, from Omedia's point of view, and that was uh, brought out on Monday. Uh, so what happened on Tuesday? Well, I'll tell you what happened Tuesday. Facebook crashed for a while, didn't it? Didn't it cause a bit of a stir? That's for sure. Um, but also from uh, from uh, on Passive's point of view, the main news from Tuesday the 5th was the start of the largest police summit in the world. And that started on um, March the 5th uh, on Passive, our media partners for this event. And if you haven't seen them yet uh, on many of the YouTube channels, they've been having uh, very concise videos that have been pushing out uh, for this event. It's going extremely well. It is where all of the heads of police departments, they have come together, they brainstorm, they talk about not only uh, policing techniques, but also uh, crime prevention, new um, equipment that they're using, etc. It's what it is the place that they all come to to see what the new and evolving uh, policing techniques across the world are and how each individual police forces are using them. And uh, on passive, are very proud to be the media partners for this event. Uh, Wednesday, then, we saw uh, day two of the police summit and also uh, 360 uh, was changed from Wednesday to today. And the link for this was posted very quickly in the back office. Uh, and that was uh, posted out by our very own Marty DeGarmo. And here we are on day uh, Thursday, the 7th, guys. This is day three of the, and the last day of the police summit and uh, not much else to bring to the table except for there is new videos of the police summit coming out at the moment. I've put one on our channel and there is at the other. Uh, that's it for me. Seven days in on passive. Always something going on, guys. That's for sure. Uh, just because we don't particularly see it ourselves. They are beavering away in the background for the benefit of all of us. That's it. Over to you, Marty.